Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Today my topic is about power and interest in um, program planning negotiation. So how do program planners act in their planning uh, context so as to get things done? Uh, according to Severo and Wilson 1996, program planning is a social process of negotiating power and interest. So how do we define it? Here, the power, the word power refers to whose interest is represented. Uh, interest refers to which programs are constructed. Okay, now this topic I'm divided into five sections. The first is about the relationship and the second is what made program planners come together and the third is about power relationship and the fourth is about what issues and strategies underlie program planning and finally it's about program planning. All right. Now first the relationships. According to McDonald 1996, uh, when planners get together to work on a project, they form the relationship. So planning is itself a learning process because participants learn about themselves and one another. So planning by definition changes the situation. For example, in community-based environmental education, there are issues such as color, those characterized by low incomes and other social, economic and political advantages. So the program's planning could involve in environmental justice for less revenue and minority communities are often omitted from the decision-making process. So how to plan so as um, the disadvantaged could find their voice? So how to keep less dominant players, locate whatever resources are available to develop their capacity to act. Second session, what makes program planners come together? Okay, number one, the work around the issues. Number two, to influence the planning decisions. Number three, to influence each other through uh, actions, interrelation, interactions and interrelationships. For example, planning in a health uh, promotion conditions where the participants find challenges and may not always facilitate and empowerment the objectives of the planning process because of 1. Power relationships, interests and social, cultural and economic factors present in the environment could interplay and because of the nature of the complexities. Number 2. The strategies that need to ensure that Community interests are adequately represented at the planning table. So out of the resolution of these issues comes the real program design, which determines that what or who will participate in or be affected by the programs and when. Now come to my third session about that is about power relationship. According to Hendricks in 1996, Nursing Achievement Program NAP characterized by the dynamics of power and interest that determines the educational place created by nursing educators. Seen from the surface as though NAP merely um, focus on educational goals, objectives and teaching strategies. In fact, it is not. Here, it is a self-description by a nursing program uh, planner uh, and quoted by Henry 1996. He said, my action as a nursing uh, tutor may have uh, appeared to be simple effects at uh, planning a workshop for a new nursing students. While this was a part of my intention, underneath the surface, I was attempting to renegotiate the way uh, the members of NAP uh, work together to bring about a collaborative uh, team-oriented program with maximum student benefits. Okay, now fourth section is what issues and strategies um, underlie the program planning. Uh, according to McLean in 1996, from the program planning model perspective, we need to continue to bridge the gap between the prescriptive theory and what program planners uh, are doing to serve uh, the needs of uh, learners and interests of their institutions. So critical for the medical school and providers of continuing medical education CME okay so each of the coordinators at the distinct levels of the um, 
department has different respons responsibilities and works according to the issues and strategies that they have. For example, the program directors might consider co-sponsoring more programs with professional associations to entice more family uh, physicians to attend the department's programs and meet the university's needs. Now, final session is program planning. So people with theories plan programs. SOC in 1996 uh, suggests that if you prepare to design uh, programs, you must reconsider your personal planning theories and to consider adopting uh, a, a more useful way of understanding and engaging a planning and to adapt to change in the ideas of planning and to be prepared to account for the role of negotiating power and interest. So what are the other considerations for planner to plan programs? So number one, the ability to negotiate through political and ethical consequences based on interests and powers in constructing educational programs. Number two, be flexible with the situation. Number three, be especially particular about powers and interests that you need to negotiate with, not the technical skills. And uh, number four, be familiar with the reality of the actual practice of the negotiation. And uh, number five, to plan the theories. And number six, to read the situation. And number seven is to prepare to deal with um, potential obstacles and anticipate sources of support like power relationships. And number eight, to know who they are responsible to, like interest refers to both politically and ethically. Uh, quote by Wilson and Severo in 1996, educational practice always occur in a culture of knowledge and power, and planning was to be seen as substantively contributing to the maintenance or alteration of who has the power to say and do what matter. Okay, now uh, let's conclude my today's topic and we learn about program planning is a social process of negotiating power and interest. Also, we learn when planners get together to work on a project, they form relationship. And also we learn the program planning could involve in environmental justice for lower income and minority communities are often omitted to create the decision-making process. And also we learn from the program planning model perspective we need to continue to bridge the gap between uh, prescri prescriptive theory and what program planners are doing to serve the needs of learners and interests of their institution. Okay, let's conclude my today's topic on uh, power and interest in the program planning negotiation. And my next topic uh, would be uh, professional learning and related theories. Okay, stay tuned. Thank you for listening and goodbye.